There are a few tasks and decisions that you have to make when you initially start setting up your gradebook in the SIS. While many of the settings are already set and ready to go by default, there are some things you'll need to consider before you start creating your first assignments. Your personal preferences on how the SIS interacts with you and displays information can be found from the My Information Preferences section in the left side menu. Much of these settings have to do with how information is presented in the different windows and different views that you have within the SIS. But when you select on the display options for your preferences, you'll see one section that's very important for those teachers who have multiple classes meeting during the same period. In the case of this example teacher, you can see that three sections are assigned to meet during period two, two during period three, and so forth. So the option to combine the sections for taking attendance makes sense for this teacher. You can also choose at this point to configure your gradebook separately for each section. In most cases, you'll leave this unchecked, as you'll see during the configuration that in a typical classroom gradebook setup, you want all of your sections to be configured the same way. Once you set your preferences, be sure to click on the Save button. With your preferences set, it's time to configure your gradebooks. Select on Grades from the left side menu, then Gradebook Configuration. The purpose of Gradebook Configuration is to determine how you will assign grades to your students and the point values that will be available for your classroom assignments. The critical decision is whether or not you're going to weight your grades by assignment category. There are a number of different ways that you can determine how your assignments will affect the final grade for your students, but the key thing to remember here is it needs to be logical and you need to be able to explain it clearly to the students and to their parents. To understand how weighting is used within gradebooks, you can view the short video found at this URL or find this video here in the eCampus course. For the examples used here, I'm going to go ahead and set this to weight grades by assignment category and then click on the Save button to make sure that that setting is saved. You'll see additional options as you scroll down the screen. For instance, if you leave this checkbox enabled, any assignment you create in one class will automatically be added to your additional classes. You can also determine whether or not you want to show percentages in the gradebook, how your due dates will be set up, and other information that you may choose to have display within your gradebook that fits your personal style and preference. Remember that for any changes that you make in your configuration, you must click on Save so your changes will be recorded. These first few steps that you'll take when you initially set up your gradebook will only take a moment and you can then move along to setting up your assignments and then recording grades in your gradebook.